So um, Dante has some has a pair, and I guess yeah, let's talk about some of the details of the shoe because I'm I'm super curious yeah. about inspiration and yeah. how stuff came about. So I um, like I should have brought out the regular pair of clubs these, but I would say some of the things that have not been discussed on a on a larger scale are these very what I like to call like intimate design moments that I know about, you know, mm. and maybe like you wouldn't necessarily see from the naked eye. Right. But um, like the, I removed the perps at the top. So normally in a club C, all of this is perforated. Mm. Um, and so I removed the perps because I really wanted to go in and do this very like clean, minimal design. Um, so those, that small detail for me was super important above that for weather. Um, I know it's like not really a big deal, but for me, it's something that I noticed being from California, all of those things were fine, but now on the East coast, like those little perps, your feet are really cold with that breathing right, right. like in certain seasons. So I removed the perps. Um, the other thing I would say is that, that I loved was the back. So this piece, my glare. So there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. This piece here is is a one go. piece um, a one piece heel cup. So the normal club C has a, a top piece that kind of wraps the ankle, and then it has a strip that goes behind of leather. Mm -hmm. And again, to create that like unified look, I really wanted this to be one piece, and it has a deconstructed edge. Ooh. So it's like kind of <laughs> laid on there and sewed on. So that was, you know, those were the two pieces of like small things. And then inside here, I removed some of the stitching as well. So like it reads cleaner, the arrow here kind of reads a little bit cleaner. Small things there, it uses um, three different types of leather. So the tongue is unlined, it's deconstructed. Um, it is, uh, I believe this leather came from New Zealand. We looked wow. forever for, I mean, like, the shoe went through three or four samples because this leather was so difficult to, right, to make. Right. And fi I wanted, there were just some things I went into design that were hard lines I wasn't going to move on. Mm. And premium premium materials at a single mom price point, so $100 or less, like it had to land there. And that's one of the reasons I went through so many iterations. I wanted mm. this leather to be as plush as it could be, you mm. know, for the people that love materials and still remain in the price point. So if we have to search through all of Reebok's archives. If we have to look through the world, like we're going to do that. What? Um, the gold eyelets. So they come with two sets of laces that you can see here. And they right, right. both sides, both have the gold eyelets. Um, something that I haven't talked about before is that the hang tags I actually like never wanted to do hang tags <laughs> like, on god I feel like hang tags are the most like overplayed item when it comes to fucking friends and family and stuff but it's like yeah. so many other things right right but I learned so much during the design process and originally these hang tags were going to be a pin that sat here oh no and the pin would you would be able to remove it and like put it on your jacket on your right. backpack like right, right. Or, you know and so they would be pins essentially um but going through compliance which is a stage that mm -hmm. you guys probably know about but a lot of consumers don't know about um the pin did not pass compliance because it can't sit on the shelf with a with a pin like in right. case a kid stabs himself right, right. or somebody you know um, so they offered to do the pin as part of fr my friends and family run, mm -hmm. which was another like, I, you know, kind of light bulb moment for me is that 90% of the time we see a shoe that comes out in friends and family and we're like, that shit is hard. How come it didn't drop like that? Right. It's because it dropped on friends and family because it didn't pass compliance. Uh, ha -ha. That's a cool ass fact. I didn't yeah. even think about the idea of compliance making a difference in the production. You can't put oh. it on, on the shelf and they can't sell it. So they can produce it for like gifting and things mm, like that. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of the times, like I know when Pushin Shoes came out, I was like, the friends and family are hard and they're so many times, <laughs> like, 
the <laughs> SE friends and family were so much doper than like. Yes. But it's like, okay, that's why. Because they couldn't yeah. sell it like that when it yeah. went through all of its development and engineering and things like that. So. That's um, really dope. So there's writing in the inside as well, right? Like. Yeah. Um. He's in, you have your insult out, Dante. Uh, I was gonna say I could pull up, pull one out real quick. He's like, I don't have the insults out. Uh, this one's coming up. There we and go. I'm ashamed. Like the ones I wear, I took my insults out. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost. There we go. All right. So got one out here. Yeah. Okay. So that one is. Go a letter, um, it's posted on my Instagram kind of far down, but it is a freehand letter I wrote to young creatives, young women of color um, about my journey. And I, I mean, like, I love the fact that the, like I scribbled out on, and I just, I went with that copy. It's like, I want oh, them to know that this was like, this is really what was on my heart. Like it wasn't edited. Um, we kind of went into that design. I thought I had it down but it was just like a paper of the insole and I had to draw on it and then scan that into the program. Mm. So it was really nice. A lot of the girls wrote a letter um, and they executed very differently. So on one side of all of the shoes is a letter and then on the other side is some type of illustration. In mine, I um, had all the people closest to me throughout my journey. So that's my mom at the bottom, my best friends that aren't even sneaker heads, <laughs> Evan and Zion, uh, you know, my kids, uh, my best, best friend from Kicks on Fire, who's now a culture writer at the Boston Globe, Janae, and a pic an old picture of me and my mom at the top. So <laughs> it was important for me to honor you know, like everybody who helped me get to where I'm at today. A lot of the times people get to the top of their mountaintop and they're like, I did it by myself. <laughs> and, you know, it's like nobody's doing it by themselves. Right, right. You know, nobody on this, on this earth is doing it by themselves. Every photographer needs a location, needs a model, you know, like needs, some, needs a media, media hub to post their photos. Every right. producer needs a client to produce. Like, nobody's doing it on their own. So for right. me, it was important to recognize just, not just the women, but the people that really made it possible and, like, believed in me throughout this whole time. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's kind of amazing. I could tell that you have these pockets of obsession with detail, and I, I it's admirable. It's it's really cool to see. I mean, could you could, you could pick up a, a shoe and look at something and be like, okay, there was a little bit of care into this. But yours is, I'm I'm impressed. I'm I'm really glad that you explained all that stuff. Um, so how did I, how, like a, you know not like a scavenger hunt, but I just always wanted there to be this like new surprise, right? You know that you are as you're looking at it, like, and I'm finding that the people that bought them, they're seeing that somebody um, DM'd me on Instagram a couple weeks ago and was like. The picture that Reebok has up of your shoe, it has these holes in it. And the ones I saw on GOAT don't have the holes. <laughs> are these fake? You know, and it's like, you know, just those little differences people are people are noticing. And it's like nice to be able um, to to tell those to be online and be engaged with the consumer, which is a different thing from 20 years ago. And to be able to like share those stories and and be there when they when they do have that moment. 